Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be teaching our dogs how to bark on command. I'm here with my great friend Sergio Esquivel. Some of you guys may have seen him already. He has an excellent channel. I highly recommend going to it and subscribing so you can follow his journey with Harley. And a lot of you already know who Harley is as the star of our service dog series. All right, so the way that this is going to work today, just like everything else, what we first want to do is we want to teach the behavior. We teach the behavior before we put it on a physical cue. We're going to use the concept of frustration. I'm going to hold Harley, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to hold her. I'm going to be acting as a back tie with the leash attached to a harness. And then what Sergio is going to do is he's going to tease her with the toy until she barks. The moment she barks, yes, boom, go over and reward her and play with her. We want her to know it's the act of barking that is bringing the toy to her. Now, once she's doing that, then we're going to add the command. Just like everything else, the command comes what? Before the physical cue. Sorry, I was thinking I was thinking about like the, the drill that we're going to be doing with her. I was like, okay. So he's right, though. It's before the physical cue. So he's going to have the ball or the toy behind his back, and his command for her to bark is going to be... Uh, respond. It's going to be respond. He was a drill instructor. So he's going to say respond and then he's going to pull the toy out. So it becomes a predictable pattern. So then Harley hears respond. She thinks toy. She barks. Boom. We got it on a verbal command. Now, since we're just starting this with her, she's not going to be able to do it on the verbal command alone, but you guys will be able to see the process in this video. Any questions before we start? Yeah, so I just really want to make sure that, you know, I say the, um, the mark is correct. All right, so with the bark, and then when the marker said, you know, what, how's that time? Okay, so the moment she barks is when you're going to say the marker. And we're doing it in the beginning, and we're just using the physical cue. There's really no command. So you can use yes or free, the terminal marker, or the continuation marker. Okay. And this is also a command that has a completion, unlike something like a stay command. So if you tell your dog to down, and she's in a down state, and you use a continuation marker, she has to maintain it because it's an exercise that is easy to continue. But something like a bark, once they bark, they completed the behavior, unless you want them to continue barking. So in that situation, you can also use yes and free, since it's a start and complete exercise. Does that make sense? It does. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. Go ahead and get some water there, you. And then you get your toy. All right. All right, and I'm gonna bring Harley over here. Whoa. And he's gonna start teasing her. Ooh, Harley! Come on, Harley! Oh, you want to now build more distance than oh. you need to? Come here. Oh, 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 oh. You want the toy? You want the toy? You want the toy? Oh, yes. Build more distance? Yes. Yes. You want the toy, Harley? Come on, Harley. Yay, Harley. Good. Yes. Good. Oh. Now you see he brings the toy over and rewards her for barking. So the reward is the toy. And he's going to be doing a little play, a little bit of pulling, a little bit of tug back and forth, petting her, praising her, letting her know that's what she uh, he wants her to do. If she releases it, then he's going to tease her even more. Oh. If he can steal it from her, he's going to make Oh, Oh, oh she got oh, 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 She got me. Good. Praise her. Praise Good girl. Good girl. Good. Oh. Oh. You want the twig? want the twig? Oh. You have to make sure you respond the moment your dog barks. Your dog must know it's the barking that is initiating the reward and bringing the reward to her, which starts this entire fun game. Good girl. Now what we can do if we want to build more frustration, it's a little bit harder with an older Ooh. dog, but we can make them drop it by picking them up. So you're going to grab the toy again. You could be, be playing tug, but no tension, just kind of moving a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick her up slightly from the back. Good. Oh, Frustrated. Oh, tease, tease, tease. oh, you want this? Uh, no, it's mine. It's mine. Ah, ah, ah. Good girl, Harley. Good. Good. Or play. By lifting up the back end, most dogs will release the item. In fact, this is one of the techniques that people use to stop dog fights, because lifting up the back end takes their mind from what's going on in the front to the back side. So I like to do this when I'm trying to build a dog's frustration in something that we're using in order to teach a certain behavior. So now put it behind your back. So now we're going to add the command. So he's going to say the command, then he's going to bring the toy out and wait for it to go. Respond. Good. Good. Lots of praise. 
very nice. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll really show the dog that it's the barking that's triggering it. So I'll give you a couple other examples. If you don't mind, I'll do a couple. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. so we're getting gonna... tired anyways, guys. So we're going to do a switch. Good girl. Very nice. Right. Oh, oh, oh. So I'll tease. Ah, 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 ah. Very nice. Good girl. So really showing her every bark is boom. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Very good. Nice smooth motion. Moving back and forth. Pet tap on the side. I might even act like boom. Oh, but it's a pet. Good. Very good. And then do what I did. Pick up her back end until she releases the egg. But just scoop underneath. Good, good, good. All right, so now behind my back, and then I go, first fun. Ah! Woo! Yeah! And I didn't, whoa, whoa, you lost it. You lost it. Ah! Whoa! Okay. Ah! Good. And I'm not even marking it. So just me moving is actually game enough, but you can definitely mark. Good girl. That's a good session. So as you can see, it's very tiring for us <laughs> humans <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> to use frustration as a way to get our dogs to bark. This is one of the ways I really like teaching a dog to bark. It's fun for you. It's fun for your dog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please check out Sergio's channel. He's my good friend and, and he has some really great content that I think you guys will love. All right, thanks again, everybody. Yeah, hey, thanks everyone. And like I said, Harley, this, she did great. Uh, Oh yeah, like, subscribe, notifications, like all that good stuff, okay? And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.